All right, Sean, thank you. Covering Utah County, a family is petitioning for safety rails and more signage at a popular Utah hiking spot after their son fell into the Provo River at Bridalville Falls and died. Yeah, this tragedy happened over the weekend. Take a look at your screen right here. Arizona mother Lindsay Udall's 12-year-old son died Saturday afternoon. Rescue crews were able to pull the Arizona boy out of the water about four miles downstream from where he went in. Mandy Gilbert is joining us live after talking to the boy's mother today about the change that she's fighting for. Amanda. Yeah, Lindsay Udall did not want to do an interview on camera yet because she's on her way home to Arizona to plan a funeral. It's just devastating, but take a look at your screen. This is Finley. This mom shared on Facebook, she did not witness his fall. She says not long after arriving, she heard someone say a child was in the water and she just knew it was him. In the days since his death, she has started a petition to install safety rails and more signage along the Provo River. And I did reach out to the Public Works Department just to ask them if this is even possible today. It is possible, it's, it's not, it's not likely because of the, the nature of the river and um, the, the where and when we'd stop the, the, the railings. You know, the, the trail goes along the river for several miles. Part of the, the um, allure of the, of the river trail is to have access to the river, particularly in, in lower flow times. Now, reminder that the Provo River is still moving very, very fast. There are temporary signs that have been added along the river just to remind people to stay away. If you do want to learn more about that petition, we're working on getting it on our news app. At last check, it had over a thousand signatures. And just a little bit about Finley, he's described as being a very caring boy uh, who will forever be missed. He took up a lot of space and it's gonna be hard to fill that space. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, two news.